Muy buenas a todos jóvenes, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Bienvenidos a Juegos Perdidos y bienvenidos nuevamente a Los Pilares de la Tierra. Como siempre, antes de nada, daros las gracias por pasar por aquí, por tener a bien el perder un poquito de vuestro valioso tiempo con un servidor. También eh, recordaros que hay que cuidarse bastante en el momento en el que estoy grabando esto, pues estamos en enero, pero el tema del virus todavía sigue en vilo, así que... Si esto lo estás viendo en años eh, siguientes, pues si ya se ha superado el virus, mejor la pandemia dichosa. Pero bueno, aún así hay que cuidarse, jóvenes. Nada, si queréis apoyar el canal, recordad darle un pequeño like, podéis hacer comentarios, suscribiros también, en fin, lo de siempre. Nos centramos ya en lo que tiene que ver con el juego. Recordar que en el anterior vídeo pues, sufrimos un spoiler, así aquí te pillo, aquí te spoileo. Resulta que al final de la trayectoria de Jack y Aliena, una vez que se habían reencontrado, que fue un, un reencuentro muy soso, sinceramente, yo me esperaba algo más después de tanto tiempo sin verse, fue todo súper soso, la verdad. Le faltaba ahí un poco más de, yo qué sé, más emoción, yo qué sé, sentimientos, nah, fue poca cosa. Y, y cuando ya partíamos desde Francia para Inglaterra otra vez para el regreso a casa, eh, nos encontramos con una señora mayor, una anciana, que empezó a balbucear ciertas cosas y daba la sensación como que, que nos conocía. ¿no? Pero yo, por ejemplo, yo en ese momento yo no estaba... Vamos, yo no había captado de que esta persona fuera familia de Jack. Y al final nos comimos un pedazo de spoiler en la... En, en la parte final del capítulo que ya sabéis que nos salen las acciones que hemos ido tomando y en esa parte final pues nos indicaba que habíamos encontrado a nuestra abuela qué guay yo creo que eso es un fallo eso es un fallo total porque en ningún momento en la interacción nos dice quién es ella ni tampoco nos dice exactamente por qué nos reconoce ni nos cuenta nada es que realmente no nos cuenta nada supongo que ahora Conforme vayamos avanzando, pues puedan salir más datos acerca de qué es lo que le pasó realmente al padre de Jack. Pero todo tiene pinta de que murió en un naufragio. Bueno, pues nosotros ahora parece ser que nos hemos convertido en mercachifles. Vamos por ahí con esta Madonna, la cual ya sabéis que es una figura que debido a una reacción química, pues cuando está en la sombra y luego después la pones al sol, empieza a lagrimear y se están aprovechando evidentemente para coger dinero pero hemos llegado a Cambridge y nos estamos eh, enfrentando a Philip nuevamente y ahí tenemos a Lina y Jack que aunque se han puesto sus máscaras se notan las claras que son ellos ya no me enrollo más ¿eh? este resumen también me sirve a mí porque llevaba un tiempecillo que no jugaba and along the road from Paris across Normandy Over the sea and all the way to Kingsbridge. Devout Christians have given money for the building of the Church of the Weeping Madonna. This Church of Kingsbridge. Uh, excuse me. Don't interrupt. The Weeping Madonna. Has chosen you! Hey! Shh! You heard me correctly. It was a long journey. The Weeping Madonna came to me in a faraway land named Africa. What a is baptized in this book will Saracen not help me was her more former guardian, I can find and I heart. and the custodians of the Holy Virgin were chosen to take her on a journey. Baptized? La palabra de Dios dice. <laughs> I knew not bueno. her powers or destination. There is much to contemplate, but Nevertheless, not now. I carried her for many miles. Many bore witness to her miracle before it dawned upon me. She wanted to go home, but where? It came to me in a dream. It was Kingsbridge. Vale, ahora ya puedo moverme un poco. A todo lo que yo digo. Brother Reynold, I've heard of a Reynold from the coast, a scheming drunkard who lives as a traveling monk. You think that's him? Perhaps it is, perhaps it's not. I don't trust him either way. 
This time, it was the Madonna herself who answered my questions. She said, Jonathan, they're about to show you the miracle. Me Look, a new church in Kingsbridge. I don't like this. There's something fishy about him. <clears throat> so we set off. With Remigius thinks this is suspicious. This time, he might be right. And you don't need to be here, if Paris, it's too loud for across you. Across Normandy, over the sea, and all the way to Kingsbridge. My dear people! Oh, oh I'm so excited to see a true miracle. Did you hear that? The Madonna has chosen us! She's come all the way from Africa. <coughs> nada, nada, nada. Marta. Por, está por aquí Marta, fíjate. What do you think of this procession? They seem well intended, and we could use the money. Hmm. Devout Christians have Do you speak English? Da, uh, no English, uh, no campandare. Uh, no, no, no. Hmm. Oh, what's this? I think you might have stepped into horse dung. What? Where? Uh, no English, is it? <laughs> Just un poco, see. Si. Could you poco. talk to this man, Martha? Yes, it's strange. He was quite talkative just a moment ago. He told me he was from Damascus in Africa. Isn't Damascus in Arabia? There's one in Africa too, I I'm sure. Why are you pretending you can't speak English? No English. Ah, malade, malade. <risa> ¿Os habéis dado cuenta de los animales extraños? Hacen, hacen ver que es un camello y luego es un caballo. They look almost like horses. Hollow. Vacío. Feels like a wicker basket covered in pelt. And I will tell you again. She is a true miracle. Tienen dos coronas en la espalda. Camello. Monjes extranjeros. Veo esperanza en sus miradas, ya se los ha ganado. Aunque los hábitos me son familiares, serán parte de la procesión. Tell me the truth. Why are you here? We are guardians of the Holy Virgin that sheds tears. We were appointed by the Archbishop of Canterbury. But it was the Holy Virgin herself who chose us while she traveled through Europe. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? She speaks without words. I could have continued to carry her from town so you're telling town me this is a real miracle? Succumbed. A miracle, a blessing, a wonder. Will. But I wondered what shrine should be her shelter. Please, everyone. We want to listen to his story. This time, it was the Madonna herself who answered my questions. Mira, hay, hay alguien, eh. Hay... Ah, claro, ha pasado un poco de tiempo y el chiquillo tiene que crecer, el bebé. Míralo. Ha pasado, ¿cuánto? Dos, tres años. ¿Qué hacía ahí? No lo conozco, pero me resulta familiar. I carried her for many miles. I will tell you again, dear brothers and sisters. The Weeping Madonna has chosen you. Why are you hiding? All of you. <gasps> And I will tell you again. I am Philip. She Who is are you, young man? Miracle mm -mm. That will change hmm. your life as she changed. No sabe, no sabe inglés. Puede ser. That's not many fit for a shrine. To her miracle. Nothing sacred about this. She wanted to go home, but when? It came to me in a dream. It was Kingsbridge. Now, brothers and sisters, I have heard that life has not been kind to Kingsbridge, but it is in places like these and in dark times like these that God's light shines brightest 
and along the road, over the sea, and all the way to Kingsbridge. Can you feel it, brothers and sisters? You are about to witness a miracle. The Madonna knows how you have suffered. The Virgin Mother had to witness the rise and fall of her son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and never stopped believing. Kingsbridge has endured many hardships. Prior James left you before his time when you needed him the most. Your old cathedral was burned to the ground. How do you know this? And your new one collapsed even before construction was finished. You have suffered the ruthless destruction of your market, homes, and lives. Dada. All of you have lost husbands, wives, and children, family, and friends. Dada. All of you know how it is to be hungry and afraid. Jack. Aliena. Philip. But this is a miracle, isn't it? Or something along those lines. But how? We thought it was time to give Tommy a home. The boy? Your boy? Well, Philip? Do you recognize him? Our little Tommy? Tommy? But... It's been almost three years Tres since años. I last saw you, Jack. Where on earth did you find him? I'd almost given up looking for him. Then Tommy found him. And you decided to come back. Well, this is our home, after all. Then what on earth is all this? This miracle? With the Madonna, we were able to collect donations for your priory and for Kingsbridge. Really? We can start anew. We can rebuild the cathedral. What's the catch? I'll get to be master builder. Why? I've studied the cathedrals, churches, and houses they build in France and Spain. I saw how different their constructions were, with new shapes, colors, and ideas. Oh, you should have seen it. They combined rib vaulting and pointed arches. I want to do that. That's why. Why here? Because this is home. Condenar las mentiras. Hmm. Bueno, dudar que haya dinero suficiente. The townspeople probably think that's enough to build a whole cathedral, but to me it looks like about a hundred pounds. You know that won't even pay for a year's work. Like all of this, it's a symbol. Enough for a fresh start. And the Madonna will stay here. Kingsbridge will attract visitors and donations again. You mean I should be thankful for these lies and tricks? Jack! Aliena! You came back! We wanted to see you, little sister. Oh, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. But look at you! And the little one! Tommy. How are the others? Alfred left Kingsbridge. Richard shows up every now and then, and Ellen returned to the forest. We need to visit her. Father lives with her now. Hombre. What's wrong, Martha? I'm glad you're back. I am too. Very glad. She looks like she's about to cry. She will weep for your suffering, Kingsbridge. She knows your pain. What now? The miracle! Her eyes are wet! <gasps> her eyes! Why, look at her! Heaven. They're shining! She cannot hold her tears any longer! She is made of wood! It's impossible! <gasps> Why are you weeping? She is mute ever since her husband died. The Madonna has suffered as I have. She understands. 
Vaya tela. Se ha puesto a hablar. It seems through her faith in all of your lies. Mary has found a miracle. Esta es la que vio morir a su We can't keep trying to repair Kingsbridge by ourselves. Things are not improving. We're struggling to keep things as they are. But we can't afford to hire help. Without farming and fairs, we're back to prior James's time. All these past years, my advice was good enough for you. But it appears you've changed your mind now, again. It is time we started doing something to wake up and make Kingsbridge what it used to be. We did before and we can do it again. I'm not willing to accept a risk like that. Don't you remember what happened last time? My, my, how easily we forget. I remember well. And still, you put your trust into a group of random strangers to make things better. Philip, why in God's name have you stood by and let this happen? They're tricking us into giving them money for false idols. They are giving us money. So that we'll place this idol in our priory? Do you approve of this? Contener la decepción, perdonar el milagro. Bueno. People need hope. And these travelers are giving them hope. Yes, it is a deception, but with good intentions. Mary speaks again. Is that not a true miracle? You fell for them. You really did. And now you joyfully take part in their deceptions. I'm warning you. I cannot support a prior who tolerates heresy. Your threat won't sway me. No matter how unconventional, their return and their gift are a blessing. You made your decision, Philip of Gwyneth. And now, I make mine. I resign. I'm leaving the Priory. Mientras no se ponga en nuestra cuenta, ya veremos, eh, que este es capaz de ir al, so big, al obispo. Tommy. <laughs> And you're just as shy as your father was. Don't let him fool you. Usually, he's always up to something. Hombre. We are so proud of you, of both of you. Is she still here? Hmm? Your wife, Agnes. No. Ellen and Martha moved her to Kingsbridge. She got a proper burial this time. Will you come back with us, too? Would you want that? Yes. I need your help with the cathedral. Philip and I have big plans. We'll come. Ellen, we found Jack's family in Cherbourg. The place he came from wasn't Cherbourg, it was Cherbourg. Really? What were they like? They were good people. His grandmother said Jack looked just like him, like his father. He does. But they never came for him or, or asked about him. They thought he was dead. His ship sunk. He'd always wanted to go to England. Yes, yes. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the White Ship? Uh, no. The King's family drowned. My father was there. He was the only one who survived. Not for long. You told me that he was accused of stealing a chalice. Yes. But, but I know he was innocent. I heard the story and had to find out what he looked like. He told me his name. I fell in love. I helped him escape. But in the end, they caught up with us. 
What happened then? They hanged him. I was there. And you were there, Jack. But you weren't born yet. He was led to the gallows. Everyone was quiet. The people somehow knew he was not a thief. But I knew for sure. He told me. He was so afraid. He didn't want to die. I didn't want him to die. And I prayed. Then I heard his voice. Quiet. Sang sweeter than than ever as if the falling melody might wing and net dissever at dusk the hunter took his prey the lark his freedom net Boah. No! No! <laughs> you said that three men were responsible for father's death. Who were they? The Sheriff of Shiring, Percy Hamley, Prior James of Kingsbridge, Boah. and Archdeacon Waleran Bygod. They showed no mercy. Neither did I. I curse you! All of you! He will return to haunt you! One day, you will be judged for what you did! Your houses shall be consumed by fire! Your life shall end in pain and agony! You shall grow old in sadness and regret! The people they killed will return to haunt them. I promised them. We welcome our new prior, Remigius. He helped to recover the bones of the saint of Kingsbridge, Adolphus, from the hands of thieves. Adolphus already rests safely in this great cathedral of Shiring. Our master builder, Alfred, promised me that it will only be a matter of a few years until the cathedral will be finished and the Earl of Shiring has promised to support us. But he has not done so for himself. No, the Earl is not a selfish man. His mother, Lady Hamley, is sick. More and more, I feel the whole of England is suffering from a sickness. The sickness of war, poverty, and most of all, heathen beliefs. I have spoken to God. I asked him, begged him to walk amongst us, to heal us. But God told me that only when this great cathedral is finished will he have a temple to reside in. No matter the cost, this shall be a towering castle to protect us from evil and false beliefs. With this cathedral, we will bring an end to the dark times. Whaler and by God. Jack, what are you doing here? Under. My father died by your hands, Whaleran. His name was Jacques Sherborg. How dare you talk to the bishop like that? He died right here. Who are you? I know that man. He's that bastard from Kingsbridge. That man is my husband. You? All of you, listen to what we have to say. 
From now on, Kingsbridge is protected. By our knights, by our walls, and by the word of the king. So whatever you do, we will defend our town, our market and fulling mills. And our cathedral, which we shall rebuild. All workers are invited to come and work for us. Oh, preposterous. If you so much as try to bring harm to us, Bishop, we will make sure that you pay for everything you did. Esto sí que no me lo esperaba. Este enfrentamiento aquí delante de todos. Bueno, pues parece ser que hemos hecho pocas cosas. También es cierto que ha habido poca interacción. ¿eh? Ayudaste a Jonathan a plantar un nuevo árbol. Celebraste tu primera misa en mucho tiempo. Aprobaste el engaño de la Virgen porque da esperanza al pueblo. Y Aliena y Jack han regresado a Kingsbridge. Lo que pasa es que esa parte final. Yo por un momento pensé, yo digo, a ver si es que lo estamos soñando. Estamos soñando, Jack está soñando eso, que se va a enfrentar a Will, Irán y tal y tal. No, 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 parece ser que sí, que esto va en serio, ¿eh? Vale, pues nada, vamos con el siguiente capítulo, el 17. Aquí este era el 16, que era Orígenes. Es el 17. Entonces, el de regreso a casa, ¿cuál fue? <ríe> Estoy perdido. Orígenes ponía ahí. Si me había salido a mí, ori eh, regreso a casa. Vale, la, temper la tempesta. 11 años después. Uf, esto va a mejorar con, con, con el tiempo. Digo yo. It had been three years. <coughs> three years of drought. Ooh. Three years of hunger and poverty. Mal asunto. England was brought to its knees. Only our walls had kept us safe from the bands of outlaws raiding towns and villages. Muros, han hecho muros, eh. Fíjate. Bishop Waylaren and William Hamley forced the workers to finish their cathedral in Shiring. Many had died. Perecier. The work on our own cathedral had almost come to a halt. Four weeks the storm had raged on. It was then that our cathedral gave up its last secret. And everything changed. Wow. Esto está lleno ahora, eh? Tom. I told you you wouldn't like the sight of this. It looks bad, but it's not the wall I'm worried about. It's good you sent the workers home during the storm. Now do us all a favor and do the same. Go home. Your children hardly get to see you. Tus hijos. Tommy and Sally have been asking about you all morning. Familia de Alina y Jack. A ver, examinar. Bien, bien, bien. La familia de Jack y Alina. Tras prometer a Willeran la salvaguarda de Kingsbridge, Richard y Jack han dedicado grandes esfuerzos a fortificar la aldea. En ese tiempo, William Hamley no ha osado volver a atacar la localidad. Mientras tanto, Aline ha seguido comerciando con la lana producida en Kingsbridge, sobre todo en ciudades más allá de Seren. La mayoría del producto que vende proviene de los dos batanes que Jack ha construido en Kingsbridge. Aline y Jack tienen dos hijos. Tommy ya tiene 12 años, mientras que Sally, su hermana pequeña, tiene 9. 
Marta cuida de ambos mientras Jack y Elena trabajan. Hay quien sospecha que Richard y Marta mantienen una relación por si fuera cierto. Richard y Marta mantienen una relación por si fuera cierto, la mantienen en secreto. Vale. Richard es la hermana de Aliena y Marta... Sí, bueno. Por un momento estaba pensando que eran hermanos carnales. Yo no, no, no. No son hermanos. My cathedral was never designed to be this high. I know. I reinforced the walls. It cannot be the height. What else was damaged? I'd look myself, but I dare not come closer. If your mother knew I was up here at all, she'd kill me. Both of us. What? She would kill both of us. El muro oriental está a punto de colapsarse. ¿Cuál podría ser la causa? Inestabilidad del mundo. Del muro, perdón. Lleva semanas así. El ruido de la arena nunca cesa. Espero que Arena esté bien. No tormenta de arena. Un día, people will fly. Like birds. Sailing on the wind. Rashid told me. Sure. Until then, stay away from the edge. <risa> seguro, seguro. Mientras tanto, no te acerques. Ves, ese tipo de cosas son las que luego después ha perseguido la, la Iglesia, la, la Inquisición, todo lo que sean inventos y tal. Uf. Cualquier cosa, cualquier mejora era vista como herejía. Parecen en buen estado. Los muros norte y sur proporcionan suficiente estabilidad. Gracias a Dios. The roof looks all right. Nunca habla de Alfred, pero sé que está pensando en él. Me pregunto si alguna vez veremos la catedral de Alfred por dentro. Are you all right? Climbing up here isn't as easy as it used to be. Yeah. Do you want to take a break? I'm fine. Better watch out for yourself. Bueno, We want to see the wind pushing you over the edge there. I'm fat enough to be safe, don't worry. <risa> Suficientemente gordo. The vaulting is cracked. Una pequeña grieta. La falta le falta estabilidad a la bóveda. Estará afectando esto al muro. Una pequeña. Martillo y cincel. Careful over there. If we don't find out what's causing this, then the whole east wall will come down. The storm is making it worse. If you're right, what about Aliena? She should be on her way back from Winchester now. Oh, I hope she's all right in this. Yeah, I hope so too. Vale, entonces el muro de entrada está a punto de caerse. ¿Cuál podría ser la causa? La bóveda. Over here the vaulting looks weak. Uh, if, the, if the vaulting was unstable, it could pull the wall inward and damage it. Especially with this storm putting pressure on the wall from the outside. We have to find out. How? If I widen these cracks, we'll see if our problem gets worse or not. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Uh, me neither, but I'll have to fix it either way. Me ha cambiado la voz y todo, eh. Cada tres puntos cambian. If I make it worse, then we'll at least know what the problem claro. is. You're probably right. One more time. Uh, It'll be easier without the sand everywhere. Right.
Ahora. And what happened? If the vaulting were unstable, this part should have collapsed and the wall would retract. So the cause of our problem is not up here. No. When we erected the eastern wall 17 years ago, there was also a crack. No matter what we did, it always came back. Remember? El, yes. el, la grieta, siempre yeah, había una grieta. Siempre había una grieta ahí. This is not the same wall. We rebuilt it. Entonces Still, puede ser que could the cause not have been the same in both cases? Uh, maybe. La tierra, la tierra. El claustro, la cripta. Mira, o la tierra o la cripta, sí, esto sí que me A ver la cripta. The crypt. Huh. How kept the whole foundation there as it was? But it, it never had to carry this much weight before. Eso es. You're right. If the cause of our problem is down there, we'll find it. You go ahead. Don't you need help? I'll manage. Just don't tell your mother. Are you sure? Go on. I know you can't wait to get down there. Neither can you. I'll just take a quick look and wait for you. 